Hello everybody, this is Petey from Bergsberg Arcade at BergsbergArcade.com and here we are with the next tutorial and since Unity has uh, put out their public beta of Unity 4, I've gone ahead and backed up my uh, tutorial service for the Hack and Slash and I'm going to go ahead and actually update uh, to Unity 4. So I've already started in the background and it's finished so let's go ahead and we'll take a look at it. And well, we've got a little box here that pops up. Let's just go ahead and just take everything one step at a time to make sure everything's working. So it's going to go ahead and say that these materials are marked as normal maps, but they're not set that way in the airport settings. Okay, well, let's go ahead and we'll set it to fix. So it's going to go ahead and create normal maps. Now, depending on the assets you're using, you'll probably get something similar. Uh, one thing right away you might notice, you know, you have this project window split in two. If you're used to the old way and you like the old way better and you don't want this double split, uh, since I'm running at a lower resolution, this is 720p, I might want to come up here, just left click on this little menu icon and just do one column layout. And that'll put you back to your old way. Uh, you'll notice there are a few different icon types now. Uh, this isn't a Unity 4 review. Uh, okay, so that's done. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll just go down and start taking a look at some of the things we're going to have to change. Uh, so set active, or sorry, the Dot active is obsolete now. Uh, if we come down here, it's going to tell you to put to set active and use active self. Now, I don't really want to make a lot of changes in this. We're going to go ahead and do this as we uh, go through the scripts and change them. But I want to take note here of all the warnings that I am getting. Um, let see, we have quite a few here about the active. That's fine. We'll go ahead and we'll change those. It's not that bad. Uh, so unreachable code detected. That's yeah, that's supposed to be there because we haven't finished the AI. Uh, we have some LOD, and uh, we got this with the other ones. This is actually just due to the models that I'm using, uh, which is fine. So I'm going to be getting rid of those models out of my package anyway. But those LODs is just saying that you know it's found the LOD uh, one, but it couldn't find an LOD zero. So I've got a lot of those, but like I said, I'm going to be getting rid of that package anyway. Uh, so we had a warning here about the mesh. Again, it's a, it's a model I'm going to be getting rid of. Uh, but that's fine. It has nothing to do with our tutorial series. Lots of LOD stuff. All right, so again, shaders. It looks like we're going to have to update our shaders. All right, so it exceeds the 9. So... Again, these I think are the advanced ones, so I'm probably just gonna have to re-import those. So Image Effect Pro. I'm actually gonna go ahead and just re-import that. Uh, not just yet, since I am making a recording, I can just come back and watch what needs to be changed. Uh, okay, so we need Image Effects, re-import that, all right. Um, just keep going down through them. So if we import the shader, it looks like we're going to get rid of that. Uh, here's some more. Again, if I just update the Image Effects Pro, it should get rid of those. And that's it, actually. So let's go ahead and actually load up the first scene. And let's just quickly run through and just make sure everything runs. Uh, so it doesn't look like I'm having any problems updating. So let me know if you do. So I'm going to go... Whoops, off to the main menu. And I'm going to go full screen because I am running at 720p. I just want to make sure that everything is fine. I have my stuff down here. Now I'm going to go ahead and load the character. So I've already loaded just from the last uh, time I was playing with it. Everything seems to be working fine, but I just want to see if it loaded. I'm going to stop. And we'll go through the character creation process again. So I'm going to go ahead and delete it. it. Brings up my character creation screen, which... It'll be nice once it's redone in, in uh, on GUI, or sorry, NGUI. Uh, so we'll go ahead. We're going to go increase our constitution here. Put a name in. Go ahead, hit next. It brings us here. Uh, one thing I do want to point out. I guess we'll do it when we hit the next tutorial. If you go ahead, I've gone and put the wizards in, and the UV meshes are different. Uh, the head and robe. I know are, are changed, so if you're hitting, trying to change your face, you're actually changing your robe texture. I do have a quick fix for that. It's kind of like a little dirty fix since I'm only using the two different models. Uh, we'll, we'll be covering that, but uh, 
be aware of that. Uh, let's make him a muscular wizard. Uh, let's actually go with a, a fat wizard this time. We'll give him some hair, make sure the hair is working well, the eye color, or sorry, hair color. Let's actually give him some hair. I've actually incorporated in the beards too. But let's go with one that wasn't part of a wizard pack. So there we go. Not a wizard pack one. It worked. Uh, skin color. Those all seem to be working. Let's give him a bit darker skin. And of course we have the height and width sliders, which is another thing I want to change. But anyway, we'll go ahead, we'll start it. And it's not working into here. So this is where we're going to start uh, seeing what needs to be fixed. So I'm going to go ahead, pause it. Uh, let's get back out and see what's happening here. And we don't seem to have an error message, but I uh, just realized that I haven't actually created prefabs uh, for my wizard yet. So let's go ahead and actually use a, well, a non-wizard model. Uh, basically what's happening is I don't have the prefabs created for my wizards in game yet. So it's trying to instantiate something that isn't there. Then the camera doesn't move to follow it uh, because the camera is looking for an actual uh, player character in game to go to. So we'll just go ahead, we'll just redo it, and this time not pick a wizard model. Uh, let's spend all our points first. Hit next. Uh, well, we already seen that this works here. Let's go ahead, we'll give him a bit of hair. Let's give him red hair. Oh, well, let's actually give him hair to begin with. Uh, you start with medium, I'll make him really pale. And let's go ahead, hit next. And we do come into game. So it seems like everything is working. Uh, since I have my character made, I'm going to go ahead and shrink it back down so I can actually see uh, the console. Here's what I was looking for. Uh, so we're missing some reference scripts here. And that doesn't help me at all. I'm just going to quickly check what my build settings are to see if I was building. I was building on a web player, not a mobile device. So. I'm going to start it non uh, full screen. Let's go ahead and we'll load our character. And now I'm not getting it. So let me just go ahead and look at our player. It sounds like something's not hooked up. Uh, it's a little weird. I'm going to go ahead and delete it. Try to make it again. Uh, with this screen resolution though, it's going to be kind of hard to click the buttons. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to move some stuff around here. Just to give me a bit more room over here. There we go. We now have our little plus button. So I'll go ahead and fill this up. And I just want to see if I can find where those scripts it's looking for are not present. So we'll go ahead. Uh, we'll hit next. And I'm just going to hit next from here, but I want to clear first. And let's actually go over to the console. And I'm going to hit clear. We'll come back in, hit next. And now I'm not getting it. So maybe the scripts that it's missing are during character creation. So let's go well, check that out. Ah, the joys of upgrading. Oh, now I got those errors. So what was this on? That doesn't help me down there. Quote inspector. I'm just completely discombobulated because of the difference. Uh, with things moved around. I didn't want it there, I wanted it in here. So let's see if we can figure out what this is on. Um, see, so far so good, the key's good. Uh, so this reference here. So slice sprite window. Uh, 
Okay, I'm just going to try one more time, see if I can catch where exactly that, what scene had happened in. That's the first thing I want to do. So it is in this scene. It's in our character generation scene. So one of the scripts is missing. Uh, on the camera? How many items in this scene? Ah... Uh, uh, this is when I went ahead and actually started playing around with NGUI. And I apparently left it in. Uh, let me just go ahead to the scene. And we'll get rid of that. So that's in our character boom, 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 generation. Go to the hierarchy. Right here. We'll just get rid of that. So I believe I've taken NGUI out of my project. Yeah, so let's see, it was just looking for NGY stuff that wasn't there. So we're going to go ahead and do a quick restart. And there we go. So that's what the problem was. So great. Uh, I actually apparently didn't have anything wrong except for, well, we're going to have to fix a few of the scripts as far as the set active goes. And I'm going to have to re import my. standard assets, uh, but that's not really that bad. So go ahead and leave a comment down below if you had any problem whatsoever upgrading to the public beta of Unity 4. As you can see, I really didn't have anything. We got a few warnings of uh, things becoming obsolete, but we'll go ahead and we'll fix those as we go through each scene to revisit everything. Uh, they're only warnings, they're not errors, they're not gonna stop anything from working, but you know we do wanna get them upgraded. Uh, but that's pretty much it for this video, again. Uh, Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.